the fighting begins. You're the most horrible people I've ever, ever encountered. If you were the man, I would knock you Sparko. If all you care about is how you look. With all those egos in one place, it's inevitable that eventually the facade will shatter. Boxing gloves at the ready. If you're not going to cook, hop it and let this young man do it. Sit down for crying out. I said, how dare you? Don't you dare speak to me. Sit Don't down. Don't you dare speak right. to me Don't like that. Jesus. There is no doubt about it. The viewers at home love a debate. Well, a row, really. Go in a cave and cry because you're scared I'm of the dark. I'm not going to cry. Okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not, I'm not going to talk to you you're while you are using... No, well, no, because you're... you're <laughs> that's why I'm annoyed. Nigel, come on, I'm not prepared to No, 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 a... go away from me, foolish I... old woman. <laughs> Round one, the original hard hitter. Rona Cameron. And in the blue corner, well, pretty much everyone else in camp. Rona, I'm, I hope she doesn't mind my saying, can be one of the most argumentative people I've ever known in the entire world. And I think she's aware of it, and she likes it. She does it on purpose. Do not push me, because you're standing there shouting. Maybe what are you f no, you, what, what is your problem? There was a lot of constant fighting going on, particularly between uh, Rona and Nigel Benn. If you were the man, I would knock you Sparko. <laughs> if I was a man, I'd love to f Fight you know, yeah. I was a boxer. Yeah. I would love to. Yeah. I thought well, I should really get between the two of them, but I thought that's Nigel Ben. <laughs> Actually, why don't you f and leave? The speech that Rona Cameron did, the sometimes speech I think it's known as, was very clever. Sometimes you public. behave like a. Oh, okay. Well then, yes, I'll tell you what. Then let's just rest it at that. You. you think I'm a. No, I find you very patronising. Yes, sometimes I'm patronising. Sometimes I'm sarcastic. Sometimes he's hot-headed. Sometimes Nell says nothing. Sometimes Yuri dramatises little things like a fart, like he's an alien just landed, he's never seen it before. <laughs> sometimes Tony misses things because he's slightly slower. Looking back at it, it's highly insulting. You know, to be told that you're slow, she did apologise to me afterwards and she said she didn't exactly mean it like that. She didn't tell me exactly how she meant it, but um, I think she managed to insult most people at the time, but they didn't realise how insulting it was. Sometimes we're all like that. Round two. She had her share of rumbles in the jungle. Step into the ring. Lynn Frank! I think I've got the short end of the straw because, you know, however prickly I can be, and I'm no angel, I do think Janice Dickinson, Rodney Marsh and John Burton race in one small space is a bit much for anybody. You don't give a shit. No, I really don't give a shit. You could do whatever but you want, you shrew. He's the one that was being <laughs> by saying, I was no. being by saying I wasn't going to be oh, oh, But I wasn't oh, oh, being oh, 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 he's being What are you doing? You're so aggressive. Don't you point at me, do you? No, no, I talk with my hands, it's Jewish things. It's to well, share I, listen, your I'm opinion. Well, listen, I'm a I'm not going to I listen to you. All right. The big mistake I made was forgetting it was a game on TV. You don't notice the cameras, and I started from the beginning, really, thinking, oh, this is real. She said, right in my ear, I hope I don't have to do it with him. Having a I did say that, but I wouldn't... I did not say it in that tone of voice. I wouldn't want to do a trial with you. So why did you say that to him? You started it. I don't want to do a trial with him, and I don't need your opinions, and I don't need anything from either of you, so leave Medics, me alone! security, security. You're the most you know, horrible people I've ever, ever encountered. Both of you! I think they had almost a vendetta against Lynn. I can't believe the way these people are. <laughs> if there was one thing I'd do differently if I went back is just to keep my mouth shut more. Round three, the featherweights. Natalie Appleton versus Sophie Anderton. Get in there, girls. I can't do that, you know, I can't do that. She expected me to be the one going, <laughs> like this, like everything. And I was just like, oh, just get on with it. I said, let me take a turn going in front, because it was easier well, for my back. I was like, why don't I go in front when we're going down the hill and I'll take all the weight of the chest? She's like, just because you want to be in front of the camera. There's no point leaving it up there, is there? I know, but I'm just a bit <laughs> with you right now, right? I just thought, you know what, there's no point arguing with someone when they're in this headspace. She's having a breakdown. Just had it, do you know what I'm saying? Fine. God! Ah! I've had enough of Sophie. Me, 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 me. And I was like, that's the pot calling kettle black, isn't it? Me, 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 me. I'm the best at this, I'm the best at that. Oh, I don't care because I don't care because I can handle everything. She tried to do her best to turn the public against me and it went completely backfired on her. Am I as bad as that? I need to know. I need yeah. to know if I'm like this yeah. because I was sick. Am I a bad person for being yeah. sick? No. You, uh, you, you told me. Oh, you're serious. Like yes, you, you did. You've got no emotion, Sophie. 
We didn't have time to have emotions. All we did was have to mollycoddle you the entire time because you just screamed and cried. You I hugged do. me. I did. You I hugged said me. I was sorry after you had no had emotions. There's no emotions in you. you. If it's just a girl, a couple of girls having a bit of a spat, and you let it, you know, die out. But this was, you know, escalating more and more and more. I thought, if I don't do something now, this is going to kick off. I thought I'm, I'm not feelings. crying because I won't You said to the camera, I'm, I'm expressing how yeah. I feel. Just yeah. give me a second. Right. Okay. Give me a sec. Okay. They both turned on me like a couple of banshees. There's no feelings. Yes, there is. There isn't. All you care um, about is how you look. This is the only reason I climbed up that tree is because you didn't want to do yeah, it. Yeah, because I'm scared of heights and you're not. We're you're talking about that. It's not world. my fault. No, it's not your fault, is it? <sighs> I wanted to feel you. I don't feel you, babe. We've all got a dark side of our personality. But why do you want to expose that in front of 13 million viewers was something that I never understood. And Esther was on fire when it came to this heated argument. Oh, be careful, sweetheart. There are leads. Excuse oh, me. Oh, no, 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 that's that's right. no. I've done many programmes about fire safety. I know how dangerous it is. No! Don't panic, Captain Merrigan. Look, how many items have I done well about done. fire safety, for Christ's sake? For 20 years, I've done programmes on fire safety and... So what? We're in the jungle. Chill. I'd like a bit more water now. Right. Put some water Where's over it. No, I want water. Let's do some more action. Uh, this is going to catch again poker? unless I get more water. There's another red spark away Where? over there. Where? There. Uh. <laughs> the loonies were, were sitting around laughing at me because they thought I looked so funny, getting so, um... Anxious. It was honestly perhaps one of the funniest things that I've ever seen. I know how to put out the fire! <laughs> Martina was the one that shot me because I expected her to be grown up. And uh, I was quite surprised by that. I did not like the laughter. I did not like the lack of assistance. I'm going to tell you something. If you were doing anything that you thought was really important for people's safety, I hope that I wouldn't laugh. That's all I'm saying about it. We... Situation closed. For goodness sake, I'm so glad I'm not that dramatic. Another celebrity who caused a stink in camp was Brian Harvey. And Janet Street Porter wasn't willing to, um, clear the air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, don't do that when we're cooking. It's so inappropriate. Oh, come off it, man. No, it's not. I'm mean, sorry, I'm you're trying you're to cook listen, dinner. Janet, man. You outside, man. Having a go at me about fighting. I just thought this is disgusting. This guy just doesn't get it. He's a complete pig. Just so because you, like just because, just because you I'll think it's wrong doesn't mean face. everyone else thinks it's wrong. I'm fine, because I need to fight, because all I've eaten is beans. Everybody does it. If you say you don't blow off, you're a liar. Right? But Brian, I think he made a career out of it that week that he was there. I know it might seem over something small, but in that environment, something small becomes something big. And I just thought it was indicative of his whole attitude to everybody else in the jungle. He just thought farting was funny. And I just thought it was disgusting. I take it very personal, because you know that there's 16 million people watching. Well, I also know that 16 million people probably think it's a bit gross to be farting right what, where what, people what, are trying what, to cook. What, 16 million people don't fart, Janet? At the time, 